In this video, I'm going to show you the Claim Wizard Workbench and all of the features and functionalities that you can perform with it. When you first log into Claim Wizard, you'll be put onto the Claim Wizard dashboard, and all you need to do is go over to the top tab where it says Workbench and click. Now the Workbench has two views, an Open Claim Pipeline, which shows you all of your active open claims, and your upcoming action items list. I'd like to note that if you are in the Open Claim Pipeline and you are assigned as an administrator in the system and an adjuster, you will have two views available to you. All claims, which would be someone that would process claims, would have access to all claims in the system for your company, and my claims would be just claims that are assigned to you as an adjuster. Once you're in the workbench, you have a lot of functionality that available to you. The first thing is, is any single column you can click on and sort alphabetical and reverse alphabetical. You're also able to click on the header of any particular column and drag it to rearrange it. You can also filter the results in your open claim pipeline by clicking over here on the right hand side to the search workbench dialog box and start typing the information that you'd like to find. This filtering works for any information that you can see in the columns. Street address, town, state, etc. To remove filtering, just clear out all the text in the search workbench dialog box. One of the most important features on the workbench open claim pipeline is the ability to sort and view alerts. Of course, if you click on the column header for alerts, you will search in all of your claims that have active alerts on them will be displayed. If you need to know why a particular claim was put into that status, you can click on the tag for the alert and it will give you a pop-up that explains exactly how that claim wound up in that condition and what it takes to remove that condition from the claim. You may notice that underneath the file number there's also a color-coded flag. This flag just corresponds with the alert condition that's over here in case this particular column is out of view on your browser. How claim alerts work in conjunction with how claims are entered or exiting a specific alert status is configurable by the administrator of your claim wizard system. If you'd like to see all claims that are in a specific phase, if you're using that feature of claim wizard, of course, just click on the phase column header to sort. You could also do search ahead for this as well. Here I've started to type claim originated and gotten a filtered list of all of the claims currently identified in Claim Wizard that I have access to that are in the phase of claim originated. And last, if you are interested in printing a list of what you see in your workbench open claim pipeline, all you need to do is filter on the claims that you'd like to see and click the print button you'll then be given a page that you can print to whatever local printer is configured in your system. The second view on the workbench is upcoming action items. Once you click this drop down, you will then be shown a list of all action items assigned to you or a group that you're a member of. Again, sorting applies just by clicking on the top column you can sort by due date, so you can get a list of everything due from the nearest date to the furthest date in the past. You can get an age on it, see who it's assigned to, and then get basic information such as claim file number, policy information, and in phase. If I'd like to work on my upcoming action item tasks in batch, I can filter on the results of this table. For example, if I'd like to work on scheduling estimates for all of my open task items, I can do that here just by typing in the search workbench dialog box for schedule estimate. Once I have a list of just schedule estimate, I can start working on this list as a to-do list. You can get more information, of course, by opening up the claim or the policyholder information. If you need to edit the task, click the pencil and it will let you, if you have appropriate security rights, edit the task. If you need to update the claim, the update claim button is here. But if you simply want to identify that you have completed this task, all you need to do is click the green 
checkbox to mark this task as completed. Information will be saved. The task is removed from your workbench because it's now been completed and a claim log entry has been entered into the system automatically to identify the date, time, and user that completed that task.